Hey folks, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to be talking about a topic that's been gaining a lot of attention lately, the black pill. It's a term that's been circulating online for a while now, and it's often associated with a sense of hopelessness and despair. But what exactly is the black pill and why are more and more men turning to it? In this video, we'll be exploring the truth behind the black pill and what it means for men in today's society. So if you're curious about this phenomenon and want to learn more, stick around. Understanding the black pill philosophy. The black pill is a fatalistic and nihilistic mindset that has become popular among some guys who feel like they can't find romantic or sexual partners. It is often linked to the incel, involuntary celibate movement, which is a loosely organized group of guys online who don't want to date women because they feel they can't get close to them. At its core, the black pill theory is based on the idea that some men are genetically inferior to others and that this is why they can't find love or sexual partners. This idea is often supported by pseudoscientific ideas like looks theory and hypergamy, which say that women are only attracted to men who are physically beautiful and have a high social status. A strong feeling of sadness and acceptance of fate also marks the black pill mindset. Many people who believe in this theory think that their genetic inferiority is constant and can't be changed. They also think that they will never be able to find love or sexual partners. Even though the black pill theory is often linked to the incel movement, it's important to remember that not all guys who call themselves incels agree with it. Also, not all guys who believe in the black pill theory think of themselves as incels. Also, it's important to remember that the black pill theory has been criticized by many for its views that dehumanize people and look down on women. Some critics say that the theory strengthens essentialist ideas about gender, supports male dominance, dehumanizes women, and downplays the misogyny of its followers. To understand the incel movement and why some men may feel lost and alone, it's important to understand the black pill theory. But it's important to be careful when talking about this topic and to be aware of the harm that could come from supporting or giving legitimacy to harmful and dehumanizing views. Why more men are subscribing to the black pill? In recent years, young guys have become more interested in the black pill philosophy. It's a way of thinking that says guys are inherently worse than women and that the love game is set up against them. The black pill is a term for accepting this world as it is and thinking that nothing can change. The rise of social media is one reason why more guys are signing up for the black pill. People only show their best selves online on sites like Instagram and TikTok, which has led to a culture of perfectionism. This has led to a trend called looks maxing, in which guys try to make themselves look better so they have a better chance of finding a partner. But for some guys, no matter how hard they try to look their best, nothing seems to work. This makes them feel lost and sad. Men are under more and more pressure to do well in their jobs, which is another reason why the black pill is becoming more popular. Since traditional jobs are becoming less common and the gig economy is growing, many guys feel like they are always fighting to make ends meet. This can make them feel like they're not good enough and like society has left them behind. Lastly, the black pill has become more popular because many online groups support its ideas. These groups, like incel forums, give guys who feel like society has turned their backs on them a sense of connection and validation. But these groups can also be a place where sexism and radical ideas grow. In conclusion, the rise of the black pill can be explained by a mix of social forces, the impact of social media, and the growth of online groups that support its ideas. Even though it's important to understand why this belief system is growing, it's also important to see the harm it can do and work towards making a society that's more fair and open to everyone. The role of society and media. The media and society have a big impact on how people see gender roles and interactions and how they feel about them. Men who feel left out or rejected by society may join online groups that support their bad ideas and make them feel like they belong. One of these communities is the Black Pill Movement, which has become popular among young guys who are unhappy with society and relationships. The media's images of men as disposable and women as hypermarital and cunning support the movement's fatalistic and nihilistic view of the world. The way the media shows black guys has also made people feel bad about them and kept hurtful stereotypes alive. 
A study funded by the Open Society Foundation's Campaign for Black Male Achievement found that inaccurate portrayals of black men in the media lead to negative views of them and help push them to the margins of society. It's important to understand how the media and culture affect how people think about gender and relationships. Men and women should be shown in the media in a more positive and inclusive light, and structural problems that lead to marginalization and inequality should be fixed. Psychological Factors Behind the Black Pill Movement Men who are pessimistic and fatalistic about their ability to find love and sexual partners are part of the Black Pill Movement. In recent years, the movement has been talked about because it is linked to extreme and dangerous behavior. People often think of the movement as a fringe group, but it's important to understand why it's growing psychologically. One of the main things that makes people join the Black Pill movement is a feeling that they have no control. Many of the guys who are part of the movement feel like they have no control over their lives or their ability to find love partners. This feeling of not being able to do anything can make you angry, frustrated, and lose hope. Isolation from other people is another thing that adds to the black pill trend. Many of the guys who are part of the movement say they feel alone and cut off from the rest of society. This can make them feel lonely and depressed, which can make them believe even more in the black pill theory. A sense of privilege is another thing that drives the black pill movement, along with feelings of helplessness and social isolation. Many of the men who are part of the movement think that they have a right to love and sexual relationships and that society has treated them badly by not letting them have them. Behind the black pill movement are complicated and multifaceted psychological reasons. Even though it's important to understand these things, it's also important to know that the movement doesn't speak for all men and that there are a lot of men who don't agree with the black pill and its ideas. The impact of the black pill on men's mental health. In recent years, young guys especially have become more and more interested in the black pill worldview. It is the idea that the world is unfair and that guys who aren't born rich or with good genes have no chance of getting ahead. This way of thinking is often linked to the incel, involuntary celibate movement, which is made up of guys who don't believe they can find love partners. The black pill has a big effect on the mental health of guys. Men who follow this belief system often feel lost, useless, and powerless. They might feel like they don't have any say in their lives and that their futures are already set. This can lead to sadness, worry, and even thoughts of killing yourself. One of the most worrying things about the black pill worldview is how much it focuses on how people look. Men who believe in this idea may become concerned with how they look and do things that aren't good for them in order to look better. This can involve things like extreme diets, taking steroids, or even getting plastic surgery. These actions can be very bad for your physical and mental health. The idea of toxic masculinity, which is a big part of the black pill theory, also has an effect on men's mental health. Men who believe in this theory may feel like they have to fit into standard gender roles and that they can't show feelings or ask for help when they're having trouble. This can make guys feel alone and isolated and make it hard for them to make good connections with other people. Overall, it's worrying how the black pill philosophy affects men's mental health. It's important for people who work in mental health to know about this idea and how it could affect their clients. Men who feel lost and useless should be urged to get help and given tools to help them have a more positive view of life. Critiques and counter arguments. Some guys have become interested in the black pill, but it has also been criticized and there have been reasons against it. Some of the criticisms and reasons against it are, number one, the black pill is based on flawed assumptions. Critics say that the black pill is built on wrong ideas about how people act and relate to each other. For example, the black pill says that women only like men who are strong and that looks are the most important thing when it comes to finding a partner. But the study has shown that there are many things like personality traits, similar hobbies, and social position that affect attraction. Number two, the black pill is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Another problem with the black pill is that it can cause itself to come true. If someone thinks they are not beautiful or not deserving of love, they may act and think in ways that make it harder for them to make relationships. For example, someone who thinks they're not attractive might avoid social settings or not take care of their looks. 
This can make it less likely that they'll meet someone who likes them. Number 3. The black pill can be harmful. Critics also say that the black pill can be damaging, especially for young guys who might be feeling lonely or rejected. The black pill can make people feel worse about themselves and others, which can make them feel lost and depressed. In the worst cases, it can even make people act violently or radical. Number 4. The black pill ignores the role of personal agency. Lastly, some critics say that the black pill doesn't take into account how much one's own choices affect their life and relationships. Even though things like social standing and physical looks can affect attraction, people can still make choices and take actions that can increase their chances of getting close to someone. The black pill, on the other hand, says that a person's fate is already set by things they can't change. Some guys like the black pill, but it has also gotten a lot of criticism and reasons against it. Critics say that the black pill is built on bad ideas, that it can be harmful, and that it doesn't take into account the part of personal choice. We're thrilled you took the time to watch this video about the reasons behind why more men are embracing the black pill. We believe the information we shared was valuable and thought-provoking. If you enjoyed the video, we'd love it if you show your support by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Keep yourself updated with our latest uploads by clicking on the notification bell. We appreciate your feedback, so feel free to leave any questions or comments down below, and we'll respond as soon as possible. Thanks for tuning in, and we're excited to see you in our next video.